Good morning again. This morning you're going to hear something that no one in the world has ever heard. And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we are privileged to once again sing a Christmas cantata that was written by our very own Chuck Crono. Always in the past when we've done Chuck's music, he's been there in the choir. And, you know, I could say, is this like the speed you wanted it? Or do you want this note short? Or, but this year he hasn't been able to be there, so I'm a little bit nervous. But he's going to be sitting there going, hmm, do that stuff. But I think that instead he's, he's going to love it. Now, he has never heard the narration because my job is always to write the narration for it. So I'm going to remain seated for the narration because I'm not important. What's important is the narration is told by a Christmas character. You've heard of him before. And he's a shepherd and he's a little boy. And so I don't want you to think about me. I want you to imagine in your mind what that little shepherd boy looks like. So this is Spreading the Word by Chuck Crum. <coughs> I have a story to tell you today that I know is true. How do I know? I was there. It started like any other night, lying in the grass, looking up at the stars after the sheep had settled down for the night. Suddenly, our restful meditations were interrupted by, well, listen to the song, you might not believe me. Jesus, but we saw him first. 
We were the ones contacted the night of his birth by the angels. We got to see him, his mother, and his earthly father very soon after his birth. It seemed like a dream because who were we to get summoned by the angels to the most important event on earth? Especially me. I was a boy at the time. Not only was I a lowly shepherd, I was a shepherd in training. Of course, I really did not want to be a shepherd when I grew up. I wanted to be a musician. I had my drum with me at night so I could practice. I had to practice very quietly because the shepherds and the sheep did not like to be disturbed. Well, in every good story, there's a villain. In this story, the villain is a king named Herod. He had been told about the prophecies of a child born to be the greatest king of all, and he was super jealous. No one would be greater than King Herod if he could do anything about it. So when these three kings came from the east inquiring about the baby, King Herod encouraged them to follow the star and find the child so he could worship him too. Of course, he was not going to worship the baby. This was an opening for his evil plan to find the baby and kill him.
something we did not know. This was the greatest thing to ever happen to shepherds watching smelly, stinky sheep. Somehow, we sensed that this story would be repeated over and over throughout history. If the world would know about baby Jesus, we had to spread the word that Jesus was the reason for the season. forever and help them see the light of Christ in the world and in our hearts. Go tell it on the mountain and let's stand and see. 
celebrating his birth, let's live out those talents as we serve him. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for coming into the world, and thank you for this beautiful, uplifting reminder we've just received of that. We ask you to bless us and guide us as we leave this place. Be with us, watch over us, and use us in everything that we do. For we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. 